uh, congratulations. This is Thank a so phenomenal much. film uh, and a really great be beginning of an epic saga. Um, how do you begin to create such a vast and like intricate world? Worlds? No, it's a good question because we we look. We had this sort of basic story because you can imagine that this sort of story itself, mm -hmm. village bad guys come. We want all your wheat. We'll be back. We need to go find some guys to protect us. Mm -hmm. Pretty clean. Um, so the work that we did right at first was I was like, okay, let's just start with like the mother world mythology. Like what is their creation story? Kind of build their religious, you know, and their sort of belief systems. And then from there, figure out like why they would want or why they would need to, you know, go out into this, into space and, con you know, in, in conquest. And I think that that was like the, that was where we started. And, and of course it, once it, once you start to build out like that, it just goes and goes and goes. And we have quite a, we have quite a, you know, timelines and now we have like all these Bibles for the different worlds and it's, it's become quite a crazy <laughs> a library of, um, of, of ideas. So it's, it, it's really quite fun though, because we really wanted to be careful so that we could, um, we wouldn't like, uh, contradict ourselves in the future. So we were trying to set our, you know, the canon of our world needs to kind of be set because actually in a lot of ways it all gets, um, you sort of start to see more, even in movie two, more of it gets filled in of Korra's backstory yeah. and the world of the mother world and sort of pol politics and what's happening. Amazing. What I feel, what I love about this film is it feels like it's so entrenched and imbued with our own history and like our kind of mythology and history spread across space. Sure. Like the Vikings and the motherload. A hundred percent. Yeah. And I, and maybe because, um, yeah, I, I decided to make them sort of feel like Scandies because I felt like, uh, you know, th this sort of, these people that would feel like that, that Cora would feel like an outsider too, you know, but they were still warm, you know, they're not like crazy. Mm -hmm. So they still accept her, but she's still the exotic other, you know, even though she's clearly accepted. Yeah. It's always, there's always a, uh, you know, a balance between, you know, sort of entering a completely different culture and trying to assimilate whether, uh, how they'll take you and whether they'll actually let you in or not, you know, and I think that was sort of the, I needed something, I needed a culture that felt closed but still open and, and in some ways open and that also, you know, Sophia as an actress, you know, has a exotic enough quality where she would feel like, not like Scandinavian, you know, so it was like, that, those were, tri that was, it, you know, it's funny, it's, it's like just tricky and I was thinking about Sophia for a long time and so I was able to kind of build a lot of that culture sort of around the fact that I would have her yeah, yeah. As, the, as, the, as, the, as the the person who was entering this culture. I was gonna say, because that was my next question, because Cora, you have to like trust her because she has be, got, like, been brought up with the dogma of the mother load and the, um, she has done bad things, but you've sort of got to empathize with her at the same time. So casting Sophia must have been tricky to find someone who can do that. Yeah, and I really wanted to make her this kind of not really that clean of a mm. character, like as far as like, what has she done? Like, she's like, she's a necessary evil in some ways for us at the beginning, but then we understand like that she also, you know, was a victim. She also had this kind of dark uh, journey to get mm. to where she is. And I think that, you know, right now for Cora, it's just becoming sort of, making choices for herself for kind of the first time, I think is a really interesting place to be. And that they they have, in some ways, the village, the Veltians have no idea um, what they have in their midst, you know, it's kind of, that's kind of fun. It's beautifully done. And the other thing I have to ask about, because I wrote it as my first note when I was watching the film, is I love the character design of Jimmy. Oh yeah. The robot, and I was wondering how that came to be, because he's so earthy, yet like android. I was really, excited about creating this sort of like Knights Templar vibe to this mm -hmm. guy that was that because you know the concept is that the Jimmys were created to protect Issa mm -hmm. and that the whole exactly what Hopkins says about you know they designed these things with this belief system that was if this child was ever born we'd have to protect it and so the way they the genius of the design was we don't know when this child's coming but you have to protect the, 
the bloodline of the king in order for the child to exist. And so they are fiercely loyal to the king no matter what he does because they just want the child. And, you know, you can imagine that this, and they've been around for 500 years just waiting for Issa to be born. And then when Issa's born and she's killed, assassinated, you know, they really have a hard time. You know, it's hard when your religion is, is <laughs> when your God's killed. So it, um, it's kind of fun. It was, it was really fun to sort of create these religious zealots that had no God, you know, I think, and I think that's really... It's kind of a cool thing for them to be on this journey of self-discovery. Now that we have, now that we have no religion, now what? Yeah. Now what do we do? Yeah, so it's it's kind of fun. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. Congratulations again! It's an epic saga. Oh, I can't thank wait you so for much. part two. Like it oh. ended, and I was like, no. Oh, I know. It's, <laughs> it's rude. It's rude. It's I apologize. Rude, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey! hey.